Good morning and welcome back to the New Forest. Well this is the July-August 2023 update of the video diary showing some of the things that have been going on. We've had sadness, happiness, fun, mystery and more. So let's go and see what's been going on. This time last year we had a heat wave. The ground was parched. Not this year. After some lovely weather in June, it went downhill pretty rapidly during July and August. We had plenty of rain. July the 6th was the wettest July day on record. We also had some sunshine. And we had some of these. In mid-June this stream was dry. By mid-July it was running with water again and it hasn't stopped since. Well some would call this a typical British summer. Others might say it's uh, been a bit of a disappointment. A much loved member of the community passed away in July and over a hundred tractors and other vehicles formed a parade at his funeral in a touching tribute to him. During the summer, some of the open areas in the forest turn yellow for a short time. What are the yellow flowers? My plant app gave me some suggestions. Are the flowers rough hawk bits or scaly hawk bits? Perhaps they're autumn hawk bits or maybe smooth hawk's beard. Or perhaps they're perennial sow thistles. Or even bristly ox tongue. Or several other suggestions. It could be a combination of these. The most likely though, I'm told, is autumn hawk bit. If you know better, please add a comment below. The new forests suffer from wildfires, often started by people who've had a barbecue. Also, People feeding the ponies and donkeys encourages them to come near the car park and roads, sometimes with fatal consequences. Because of this, the local rules have been modified, so that now the use of barbecues and fires in the forest and feeding and petting of the ponies or donkeys are all banned, with those failing to comply liable to a fixed penalty fine or prosecution. So please take notice and keep to the rules. The wet weather seemed to encourage the fungi to grow. There were quite a few fungi around, more than I would have expected in July. There were lots of festivals to go to, including the Limington Seafood Festival, the New Forest Food Festival, and of course, the New Forest and Hampshire County Show. The weather was a bit hit and miss, but that didn't put off the thousands of visitors who found plenty to see and do and generally enjoy the festivities. From mid-July to August the 6th, the butterfly conservation people ran the Big Butterfly Count. Participants were asked to sit somewhere for 15 minutes and count the number of butterflies that they saw. Lots of people in the New Forest got involved, including me. I sat by the flower bed in our garden and saw seven large whites, eight small whites, two red admirals, two peacocks, one holly blue and one jersey tiger, which is actually a moth, all in 15 minutes. I was particularly pleased to see the jersey tiger moth as I've never seen one of these before and I didn't know what it was when I saw it. It was rare in Hampshire until the last couple of decades when it's been expanding its range. Overall, in the big butterfly count, there were nearly 136,000 surveys. Great to see the Red Admiral doing so well. If you want to encourage Red Admirals, peacocks and other butterflies and bees into your garden, plant a laburnum bush. They love the nectar in the flowers. Another moth that I didn't see in the survey is the box tree moth, 
which was first seen in Britain in 2007. It's a handsome moth. Its caterpillar stage, though, isn't likely to win many friends. The caterpillars were first seen in private gardens in Britain in 2011. The caterpillars were first seen in our garden this year. The moths lay their eggs in box bushes and the caterpillars eat the box leaves. Box hedges all over southern England are being ruined. The caterpillars are difficult to get rid of, so I can see box hedges becoming a rarity in English gardens. A great shame. At this time of year, the red deer and the fallow deer in the forest are still growing their new antlers, ready for their rutting season in the autumn. The antlers are still covered in a furry skin called velvet. The deer are said to be in velvet. The roe deer have their rutting season in June and July, so their antlers are fully formed now. There are several groups of litter pickers across the new forest who are kept busy, many by selfish people throwing their litter out of the car window. In August, the litter pickers in our parish of Copythorn celebrated a milestone, if celebration is the right word. After four years, in one small parish in the new forest, we've collected two and a half thousand bags of rubbish, which equates to about ten tonnes. It's a shocking statistic, isn't it? As August drew on, the bracken started to turn brown. On the heathlands, a glorious purple glow appeared as the heather flowered, both of which are signs that autumn's just round the corner. Local beekeepers put hives out on the heaths so that the bees can collect the pollen to make the very popular New Forest Heather honey. These birds' eggs are wood pigeons' eggs, which have just hatched out. These photos were taken on the 26th of August, which seems very late in the year for birds' eggs to be hatching. In fact, the wood pigeon has several broods in a year and has been recorded as having bred in every month of the year. No wonder there's so many pigeons around. As we come to the end of August, the foals that were born in May are growing fast. The donkeys are still holding up the traffic. And Edith and I are still walking in the forest. The next New Forest video diary will be available at the end of October. Come back then and see what happened during September and October. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to see more videos all about living in the New Forest.